Hello everyone, this is seventh part of AWS Event Driven Pipeline series. In this series, we are trying to create a event based data pipeline on the basis of this architecture. We have already completed 90% of its development. In the middle part of this architecture, we are making sure if any users upload a file in source path, then we need to process that file and we need to make that file content queryable via AWS Athena. We are also making sure if in any case Lambda gets failed, then we should get a production incident created in that scenario. So this part is also covered. Now in this video, we are going to cover if blue job gets failed. In that case also, one pager duty production incident should get created. So, so in this scenario, you can see that this part, SNS pager duty in Slack, it is common to the upper portion. That means we do not need to do the development for this part. The only thing which is required is event bridge rule. Let's go ahead and create this event bridge rule. We will create one rule which will keep on looking for our blue job running status. If that running status gets changed to failed state, then this event bridge rule will send a message to SNS topic. As this SNS topic is already subscribed via this pager duty service. So as soon as there is a message in SNS topic, one corresponding pager duty production incident will get created. And once we have a production incident created in pager duty, we will get notified at the real time via Slack channel. And let me show you, this is the Slack channel, which we have configured earlier. We're going to use the same. We're going to use the same pager duty service. So let's go back to the AWS console and start creating event bridge rule. You have to type event bridge. And then in the left hand side, you can click on rules. Here you need to create one rule. I will call it event driven pipeline status rule if you want you can provide a description event burst we will keep it as default rest of the settings will remain same rule with an event pattern yes we will have an event pattern let me show you what pattern we're gonna keep so we will use this pattern where we have mentioned that we are going to check blue job in that blue job we are going to check a state change and for which blue job we will be monitoring we will be monitoring our blue job if you want you can remove these extra job from over here and we will monitor which state we will monitor failed state okay so let me click on next and then it is saying aws event or event bridge partner events so yes we are interested in aws events as of now you should ignore this part now it is giving you some sample events so that you can test your event i don't need it if you will come down here it is saying huge pattern form and custom pattern editor so if you will if you will click on custom pattern editor, then also it is fine. Here you need to provide your pattern. So let me copy this pattern, which we have created and paste it over here. All right. So we just need to click next and then we need to select the target. In our case, target is SNS topic. So let me go ahead and click on AWS service. We need to select target. So let me type SNS. Here we need to select our topic. In our case, topic was EDP pager duty. Then you need to click on next. Next. And finally, you can create a rule. Okay, our rule got created with this name EDP status code. Now, in order to test this rule, what we're going to do is we are going to deliberately fail our glue job. What I'll do, I'll make some changes in this glue job. Similar to what we have done in Lambda, I will create one syntax error. Let me open the glue job, which we created earlier, EDP glue. What I'll do is, uh, I will remove one bracket from here. I'll save it. That's it. Now, in order to test it, I can directly run this job because if I will run it, it will fail and event bridge rule will keep on looking into it. So let me do one thing. Let me run it and go to the runs. It will fail for sure. And within one minute of its failing i am expecting that one pager duty incident should get triggered i have done one mistake while creating that event bridge rule i have not copied my actual blue job name let me copy it and go back to the event bridge rule we need to edit it and we need to edit this pattern here i need to replace this job with my actual job okay next 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 and we need to save it i'm updating this rule now let me run the glue job again. 
So here we have our glue job. Let me run it. It will fail in another 10 seconds. Let me go to my Slack where I'm expecting one PagerDuty incident to be created. So let's wait for another 10 to 15 seconds. So right now it is 16, 14. So let's wait if any incident is getting created here or not. So it has took some time, but yeah, ultimately the PagerDuty incident got created. You can see the time over here and it is matching with our time. It is 16, 16 and here we can see it is 450. Let me go back to the PagerDuty service and refresh it. So yeah, here we can see that PagerDuty incident have got actually created. If you will open this incident, you can see the description. It is saying that this job has got failed and it has got failed due to the invalid syntax error. So we have tested this lower component also. And now with this, our whole development has been completed. I hope you have enjoyed this series. If yes, then please like my videos and subscribe my channel. I'll meet you next time in such another video. Till then, take care, keep learning. Bye-bye, guys.